The new arrivals to Lviv, some 60 kilometers from the Polish border, spoke of their ordeal. Some people stay, mostly it's men that stay, but everyone that has an opportunity to leave, those who have any contacts, I, I don't know, all children, all women leave. There are plenty of people from Zaporizhia here at the station. And because of the latest news, there are more and more coming. Russian military forces seized the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, Europe's largest, after attacking it in the early morning on Friday. The United States is weighing whether by attacking a nuclear plant, Russia has committed war crimes, but has not yet made any conclusions. The White House also said that Moscow's attack on Zaporizhia was the height of irresponsibility. I would note that just on the um, it, in the developments that have happened overnight as it relates to the nuclear uh, power plant, I mean, obviously the Russian government's actions were extremely reckless and dangerous. Uh, they could have posed a profound threat uh, to the safety of civilians in the region and beyond. We do applaud the ability of the Ukrainian operators to keep all six reactors in safe conditions while under attack and to report as they were able to uh, to the nuclear regulator, which certainly was helpful. Lviv uh, has become a transit point for families escaping fighting in eastern, southern and central Ukraine. Families arrived with few belongings, as some were in wheelchairs, others accompanied by pet dogs and cats, uncertain about their fate. The Russian assault on Ukraine, the biggest attack on a European state since World War II, has so far created one million refugees, according to the United Nations. The UN Refugee Agency has said the conflict looks set to trigger Europe's largest refugee crisis this century.